I'm just gonna say yes, he gave it to me. What's the po- What are you positive for? What is that? Can you read that? It, says, you, it says you're positive. A woman thought everything was going perfectly after a night of cheek clapping with someone new. What started as an exciting connection quickly turned into a cause for concern when she noticed an unexpected skin reaction shortly after. At first, she assumed it was just a rash, but little did she know that this was just the beginning of an uncomfortable and surprising experience. Today, we're going to be reacting to a viral video of a lady who gets her cheek clapped on film and then turns around and regrets it when she ends up with the monkey monkey, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to hold you. Go ahead and hit that like button. Definitely share the video. And if you do like the video, make sure you subscribe at the end. Let's get to it. Yes, he gave it. I'm just going to say, yes, he gave it to me. It's devastating to have to come on here and share that whenever I was 19 years old, Gucci third leg burned me with HSV2. And he told me that he was going to send me his test results. And he never did. And it saddens me to hear that he's done this to so many girls. And there's girls with so many similar stories to me. And they're so young as well. He is preying on the young. He is preying on the new. And I'm so sorry for not saying this seven months ago. I was scared. And I was making so much money. I can't keep beating around the bush because you guys think I'm lying. And he can't ruin anybody else's life. I didn't know. I didn't know what he was known for. I didn't know who he was. I didn't do my research. And it is my fault. I think my body count was like 3,100. 3, but I was really, I, I, I didn't feel too bad about it because my ex chick down in the body had like 2,000 or whatever. But so it was like when, when I was dealing with my chick, she couldn't really be like, oh, your body count's too much because her body count like 2,000. My body count like 3,000. So it's like, damn, like I didn't feel too, too bad about it, honestly. Last Who's in the wrong here? They're both OnlyFans stars. They're both are sleeping with a lot of people. Then all of a sudden you catch stuff. This is what condoms are for. This is why you're supposed to be watching who you are sleeping with. But let's go deeper and dive in and see exactly what's happening here with her interview with Aiden Ross, DJ Academics, and this young lady. As the story with Gucci goes, basically, I, as many people know, Deshae Frost gave me the opportunity to go on his uh, show, and there I broadcasted my personality. Uh, I made a name for myself through what we did on the stream and everything like that. And can I clear up this speculation real quick about Deshae? So me and Deshae did have sex, protected while we were on his show in November of 2023. I contracted HSV2 February 10th, 2024. I did not know that I had it until late March. I cannot give you the exact date yet. I have to go to Piedmont Urgent Care and get that exact date so I can have that exact receipt for you. Okay. And when when did you guys have oral sex? June. Okay. A few months ago. So you said you contracted it from, from your knowledge in February. How do you, how could you prove or how would you be able to prove when you contracted it, because from my understanding of that virus is that someone may have it for a unlimited amount of time, but might only know once they have an outbreak. So how did you know that you contracted at that time, as opposed to maybe you had it all along and the symptoms presented itself at that time that you then went to the urgent care and got tested? Okay. So with collaborating with Gucci, Gucci was the first person I've ever seen an active lesion on or a lesion ever in my life. With a partner that I have engaged with. A friend of mine, whenever I was in high school, contracted HSV and I saw her lesions, but it looked nothing like his. It was brand new. It was not a healed sore or nothing. He was the first person I've ever had sex with that I saw something like that with. The problem is after you've seen it, you continue to have sex with this man. So during the time that you recognized something was wrong, you decided to ignore it. I thought that I split open my vagina because whenever we were having sex, I couldn't finish because it hurt so bad. I literally thought that I was, I split it open. It started bleeding and everything. I was so dry whenever everything happened. It, it literally was so confusing to me. I did not ask him the first time we had sex, what it was on him, but it was his job as a person who knows, and I don't care what you say, Gucci, like respectfully, you know that you lie. But you seen something wrong and didn't say anything about it. You was expecting him to say something about it. That man doesn't care. He's an OnlyFans star. He's just there to clap cheeks and make some money. You said that 
he had told you that he, he nicked himself while shaving his shaft. And he came on the stream to say, after that, because you have filmed five scenes, and you could confirm and deny any of these things I'm saying, but I'm just stating what he said. He said, maybe while you were giving him fellatio, your teeth worsened the open cut that made it appear like that on the last video. What's your response to all that, man? This guy is saying the only reason why there's a sore is because she scraped me with her teeth when she was throat goading. My response is that he did not say anything about his lesion. It wasn't until February 14th. Did you notice it? In bed. Did you notice it? Huh? Did you notice? I did. Yes, I did see it. My thought process whenever I was coming into it was this collab professional collab the collaborations that i had prior were all romantic partners that i were com was comfortable enough to have sex with on camera he was the first person that i ever had sex with that i did not know prior and not only that he was somebody that i was watching online and that i was fantasizing over for the longest so whenever i got there i i i assumed that it was a safe space did I you, did, what did you, sorry what did you think it was it, you know because you you know you did see it so what did you think that it was I honestly, whenever I was going into it, I really didn't think much of it. It wasn't. So what's crazy is, is the reason what made me ask is because I, I don't know if I can show the videos anymore. Right. But it changed. You didn't know what was on his mushroom tip, but you knew something was wrong. You said nothing because you was hoping he say stuff, but you were still getting your cheeks clapped and you were still swallowing the mushroom tip while something's wrong. Get in the comments, man. This is the biscuit head. At first, it was just one little circle. And you can see in the pictures that I, sh I posted in that black outfit, you can see that the lesion looked like one little scab. If you scroll over with me in the pink dress, that was the day, February 14th, the day that I asked. So this, you said y'all filmed several times. I thought it was the same day. You're saying this was over several days. Yes, I, How many days? I filmed the first day we filmed three sets. So it was the one that went mega viral with the tan and blue, blue outfit. And then we filmed the black set with the black and the fishnets. And then we filmed an, another set in the same B&B with red. We filmed three sets that day. That day he invited me to fly out to Houston and spend the week with him. And I agreed. After knowing that he had this stuff on his mushroom tip, you still filmed those scenes and decided to spend a week with him. See, when you're a biscuit head, you don't even have any signs of danger or anything going on because you're caught in the moment. Like you said, you was a fan before you met him. This is what happens in the industry, guys. These women be so fascinated with you. They come around. They just want to do good by you. But when they notice that you ain't going to be with them for the long run, they try to find some way to break you down. And, 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 and it was in Houston that you said, hey, your penis looked like this the first night. But now it's it. it you're noticing some difference. That's, that's what you're saying, right? That's not exactly what I said, no. Okay. That's not how it went. I literally, whenever I was laying there, I noticed, because over time, I noticed that he would, like, put his hand down there. I, it, it now. Shit, you saw him start to itch it. I, I saw him put his hand down there and fix himself, and uh, now I know that that's a discreet way to scratch your herpes sore. Oh, nuts itch. Just because he may have had his hand down there, when a man come home from the gym, if he ain't got all the way in the shower and he let that sweat dry, he's going to be itching too. All nuts itch. It don't mean that he has something at that time. You got to realize she's an OnlyFans star. She's been banging dudes forever. I asked him, I was like, hey, what is that on your dick? I didn't say, oh, it changed over time. No. I just said, what is that on your dick? He said, oh, I cut myself while shaving. He said, oh, that's crazy. But Aiden. I completely believe you whenever you say that you have get hair on your I, I have an ex that had hair on his so whenever yes. I heard that I was like no I've met a man that had hair on his before and it, I know it's very rare because I do I've had partners numerous partners in the past I there's only one so man that I came in contact with that had that but it's still possible here we go talking about the stupid stuff you still acknowledge that something was there and you decided to continue to sleep with that man you put yourself in harm's way. You should have spoke up. But let's hear what he has to say. I have proof right here. I have my testing from 2023 of my HSV. So, Aiden, you might not know this, but two out of three people in the world have HSV1. You, you do know that, right? No. So, so no. Can you explain that? HSV1 is, I, I want to say, like a kind of like a beginner's. So, close source 
even even sometimes like even people are even born with it, you know what I'm saying? But this is more so like closed swords and stuff like that. And I'll show you my results tool here as well. Actually, my bad. I'll actually type it up for you. My bad. I don't know if you can see my screen, y'all. I'm gonna zoom just in. So can can you lower, lower 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 the brightness just a little bit? Sorry, I'm pulling up my results right now. Okay. Okay. Yep. I can see it. So it says here. Yep. Scroll down a little bit. I see it. Yep. Collected. And it says so, non-reactive and negative. So as you see, if it says negative, negative, of course that means you do not have it. What's so what are you positive for? What is that? Can you read that? It says HSV1. it says you're positive for HSV one. Yes. So what is that? Can you explain said, what that means? So positive for HSV one means you do not have herpes. It means you have had probably like a cool sore. More so, um, stuff like this, and this is very common in the whole world. Right. Two out of three people in the world have HSV one. Let me look at. Let me just look it up so I can. Most adult stars, they do not test for HSV one in most tennis shoes. Guess what? Right. That man proved her wrong. He does not have the HSV, which is what she claimed. Just the one, and he's showing his test results right now, which shows that that biscuit head was lying. Yeah, it says, I'll, I'll just read the statistic. It says, globally, an estimated 64% of the people under 50 have HSV-1, which is the main cause of oral herpes. Yes. So let me ask you a question. Where are your HSV-1 herpes now, if you don't mind me asking? Does it show up? How does that work? Uh, I'm, I mean, well, like, I'm not had, like, an outbreak or anything, like, so. Uh, but I'll say, like, if it was to anything grow, it would probably be most of the sore. Got you. Got you. How often? He's right. Most of cold sores are going to come around your mouth, armpits, and neck. How often do you have an outbreak? I can't even recall. I, I haven't had an outbreak in so long. But anyways, that, that is just on here. That's not genital herpes, correct? No. Right, right. So you have, so technically what the person is saying, and again, I'm, I would love to eventually have you and that person on together if she's with it. I want to clear up both of your names. But and this is just in the first. Definitely, because also too, in this situation, I understand she is a victim. But I'm sorry, Danae Davis is not my victim. She never even showed me a test. I was wrong as a content creator for even working with her. But just knowing how 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 desperate she sounded, how eager she was, she said she needed the money to make for her, you know what I'm saying, like for her, her rent. She said she needed to make money for her mom. I really just wanted to make a lot of content. So as y'all see, me and Danae shot four videos that day. The first video, nothing. As you see, I have nothing. I have no reactions. I have I have no marks. I have nothing. As we started to film, constantly filming, we filmed four scenes. On the last scene, of course, when she's orally, you know what I'm saying? Like she's she's giving me oral, but like it's very aggressive. Sometimes her teeth might start scratching me, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. We filmed four scenes. And you and you try to tell me the first. Like the first time, you know, saying we ever did anything, you saw a bump and didn't say nothing. I absolutely agree with this man. This is just an OnlyFans star trying to make his ducats. And this is a woman who had 15 minutes of fame that's fading away. He covered himself by getting in there showing his test results. Get in the comments to let me know who's right or wrong in this situation. And if this was your first time watching, please hit that subscribe button. Share the video. We drop every day unless I'm on vacation. Hasta la vista.